Hello everyone, Minefield719 here. Welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you how to get a free personal, I think, Minecraft server. So, let's get into it. First off, you're going to want to go to this website, Minecraft Sir, uh, sorry, minecraft.net slash en slash download slash server. The link will be in the description so you don't have to type it in. What you're going to want to do, since the minecraft.net server form updated, or not form, the server website updated not long ago, um, there's this weird brand new thing, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. This is a brand new version of 1.10.2 of how to get it. So you're going to want to click this. It's going to go to your downloads. You're going to want to drag it to your desktop. going to get rid of it there. You're going to want to just minimize this for now. Then after that, you're going to want to click new folder. Then rename it. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you rename it to, but I like to put it Minecraft underscore sir, or my, not server underscore, Minecraft underscore server, and then after that, you're going to want to drag your dot jar into the Minecraft folder, and once you've done that, you're just going to want to click left click then right click the minecraft jar 1.10.2 whatever you're going to want to click rename you've got to get rid of the 1.10.2 or else this will not work it has to be the same um it has to be my the same the name of the folder sorry has to be the same name as this right here so minecraft server underscore server dot jar the folder name doesn't but i do that just to make sure so let's go here oh whoops i forgot to put the dot jar at the end dot jar minecraft server dot jar and there you go it's not done but you have the folder and the main launcher of the server here then you're going to want to X out of that and this is the part where you start your server you're going to want to click text edit and then you're going to want to just I don't know if yes click done and then file as long as it still says text edit here you're gonna to want to click file new it'll give you this you're gonna to want to click format make a plain text here you go now you're gonna want to go back here you're going to want to grab this copy minimize that paste make sure there's no space at the end exactly what it did what it said down there in here and you're going to want to go file save then you're going to want to click um st put start dot command and put it in your selected in your minecraft underscore server click save you can x out of this now if you go back in your minecraft server you see you start but you don't have permission to do this dot the start dot command yet so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your terminal which is easy you just have to go in your spotlight and type in terminal it'll come up and then here you go here's your terminal you're just going to want to type in c h so c h m o d no spaces in between that then you're going to want to do space a plus x space um and then you're going to want to drag your uh, start dot command folder into here 
and then click enter and you have permission to use this start dot command we're almost done you can just x out of that i'm gonna refresh it so i'm gonna x click somewhere else go back in and you are practically done but the thing is there's a little trick to this so you're just going to want to start this up, process complete, make sure it says that. Um, yep, that's all good, I think. Then you're going to want to go to here. Yeah, here. Then open logs. It'll come up and it will crash. That is normal. Because in the EULA.txt, what you're going to want to do, this happened to me and I couldn't figure it out for like an hour. I just figured it out. So I started this YouTube video because I figured some of you would have this problem. You're going to want to go to here. Instead of false, you're going to want to set it to true. Then X out, X out, refresh it. Go back in, make sure it's that true, then start it up. It will work. Here we go. You got your very own Minecraft server. Preparing spawn, you've got everything. So, there you have it, guys. And to go into your server, I think you have to... Load up your Minecraft. I am using an alt account, so it's going to be called, I think, the Toad 8. Yeah. But that's my real account, Moxie OG. You're going to want to click play. Make sure this is running. If it says done. I think, oh, it's just a one, that doesn't matter. And then add server, you're gonna wanna click in loc local host, and you should get your server. Hey, there you go. You've got your own server, that's your address. I don't think this is for anybody else, it's a full-time server. The only way you can make it, um, the server up 24 7 is if you keep this and your computer running 24 7 that's the only way you can so if i go and x this out and i refresh my minecraft this will be closed but if i restart this it'll take a second there it is right here there it is. Your server's just starting up. You just gotta wait for the spawn to prepare again. Done. As long as it says done, your server's back up. So just minimize that. Minimize that. Go back down. Your server's up. So, here just to show you it works, I will go into the server. Logging in. I am in. Oh, glitching out. It will load. Here we go. And then, yeah. What you're just going to want to do to op yourself. So if I try like game mode one, or sorry, this doesn't have any plugins. So slash game mode one. I don't have permission. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go out of your Minecraft. Or, um, I'm not used to Mac. Hmm, I guess you're just gonna have to disconnect. Go up. Eh. How? Eh. I'm not used to this, sorry, I'm used to Windows. Let's just quit the game. Um, Minecraft, blah, 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 where is it? Nope. I think this and this, yeah. And then you're going to want to type in, no slash, but you're going to want to type in OP space the 
whatever your name is. Mine is the Toad 8. My alt. Opt the Toad 8. You're going to want to double click back in Minecraft. Then you're going to want to play. Just wait for it to load. Here we go. Go back to multiplayer. Go back in your server. Now you should be opt. So if I go slash game mode one, there we go. I opt myself to add plugins. You can do slash ban. You can do slash kick. You just need to add plugins to your plugin file and you have the plugin. So this is a d basically a free Minecraft server that I think is personal because you can't just give your friend the IP and their IP won't be local host. So I'm sorry, I don't know how to do that. But if you want a test server and you have an actual paid for server, this is the thing to do. Just install plugins here and make sure they work if you have a created plugin that you created and you want to make sure it works test it on this server if it doesn't work reset your server brands brand new and yeah thanks for watching and as always peace out